welcome back to my channel. In today's video, it is going to be a dog e gift guide. Um, if you know someone that just got a puppy or is getting a puppy or just something extra to throw into your family member's Christmas present, this is the video to watch. Toby, I have all this stuff laying out and he's very confused right now. Come here, buddy. Come here. Um, I am Toby Bear's aunt. Um, I actually love having a dog. Um, I used to never be a dog person, but Toby Bear has made me one. Um, he is the very best and we rescued him from India. So all these things, um, are just things I know that he loves and new stuff I will be buying him for Christmas. I always like spoil him. Um, every Tuesday is our day together. Today is Tuesday, which is why you're here. Oh yes, it is. Um, and I always buy him new toys constantly, buy him treats and bones and all that fun stuff so that he's never bored at my house. And I just love spoiling the crap out of him, teaching him new tricks and helping train him. So I'm going to show you guys what I have and what I recommend because this is the stuff I know that at least my Toby Bear likes, but um, it could be different for you guys. And he wants all these treats that I have out. So I'm going to start with those so I can put them away. So these are the treats that I buy for Toby. These are the milk bone ones. He loves them. I actually bought a big box of these. And then I just fill this box up when it's gone. I put more in here. And then these treats, the mini ones, I get that they're small for him because he's 55 pounds now around there of a dog but I got him a dog tornado this I bought when he was fixed as like a feel better present for him although he doesn't understand but still so I bought him this and he loves playing this game you basically hide treats and it's so much fun because he this will keep him busy for like at least 20 minutes and then I just put these mini treats in there you can put train treats in there but I feel like these are more of a better price and you can break them in half to put in there than train treats but also for Christmas, I will be getting him dentist, um, dental treats so they can like help brush his teeth and he doesn't have bad breath or anything, but obviously it's important to keep a dog's teeth clean and healthy. Right, Toby? And then I'm going to get him another rope for Christmas because this one he is devouring, but, um, this one he also loves very much. He's staring at me like, why are you touching my rope? Um, and then I have bought him, I have bought him some Christmas toys already. The one I bought, um, it was a Christmas tree with a rope attached to it and he loves those kinds of plush toys. He likes the plush toys more than like the rubber ones, but he will still <laughs> use both. So he likes this one a lot. This one is his, um, gingerbread man. Then these toys have lasted him a pretty long time. These like rubber ones. This one's lasted a year. And he does play with these, but these one he just kind of like passes around. Um, and he will go and get it. Then like there's still some like, there's some from like the dollar store. I find the dollar store ones break really fast compared to like an actual pet store plush toy. That's my personal opinion. He hates Kongs, but if it's always worth a try because you can put like peanut butter in here. Um, especially if you're hiding like a dog tree, you can put it in, I mean, not a dog tree, a dog, like if they're sick, a dog pill, you can put it into a strawberry. That's fine. Um, can wrap it in cheese. Like Kongs always have like other ideas attached to them. This toy has lasted a very long time, but he's kind of over this one. He's putting his head on the table because he's mad that I haven't given him a treat. Would you like a treat, Toby? Do you want a treat? He's like, auntie, yeah, I want a treat. Sit. Hey, sit. Sit. That's my good boy, Pa. Anyways, this is what I'm getting him. Well, this is what he has. And then what I'm getting him for Christmas is a glow in the dark um, collar. So when he's, he's pretty much black with a little bit of beige, but still when he's out in the backyard at night or for walks with my sister, I think a glow in the dark collar is very smart. Plus he needs a new one. This one he's had for a very long time and it's filthy dirty. And then um, I'm getting him a winter coat. He has a pretty thick coat already, but I wanna get him like a jacket. And the one I found, it Velcros on the belly. It's super easy to put on and off for a dog, so that's great. Um, but yeah, this is what I 
have for Toby and what I will get him for Christmas. Maybe some bakery, like, you know, bakery biscuits um, for a dog. I might get some of those. He got one for his birthday and he got one for when he got fixed. So definitely want to get him one for Christmas to make him feel special. And then when I buy like the toys and the treats and stuff, um, I'll definitely have like one open bone in there for him so he can get excited and eat it right away. But um, I'll just have like a box that all open and he can get into himself. So anyways, if you're a dog person, this is like such a funny, like normal video. But if you're not, um, get your cat some treats and get them a cat tree and they'll be happy as a clam. Cats are pretty boring, but they do play sometimes. My cat personally likes to just drink tap water and she's content. So we're all different around here, but um, I love my Toby bear and I love spoiling him. It's one of my greatest pleasures, just buying him bones and toys for him to destroy in five minutes. But anyways, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, leave a comment down below. If you think I should get him something special for Christmas, let me know. Um, I'm always into spoiling this cute little boy. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.